Hello, seventh grade. Um, this video is for your first John quiz on Friday, 9 a.m. Um, you got 40 minutes to do it, so be ready to go at 9 a.m. You guys know the drill. Uh, so here's a few things you need to know before you take it. First off, uh, this one is a bit shorter than most are. There's only nine questions. Um, so that means that the short answer questions and the long answer question is going to be worth more points than normal. Uh, and remember, the vocab questions are going to be worth a total of three points. So numbers one through three are fill in the blank. They're one point each. Right, so you could totally skip the entire vocab section and still get a, a B minus on the on the quiz. Right, assuming you got full credit on the rest of it. So if you're having problems uh, time-wise, it's a good idea to skip the vocab section. All right, numbers four through eight are short answer questions. So remember, short answer questions are just factual questions. You do not need to use complete sentences. I know some of you like to do that, and that's fine. But again, if you're worried about time, uh, I would not recommend using complete sentences for questions four through eight. And then question nine is the long answer question. Um, it doesn't say how many sentences you have to write, so it's really up to you as long as you have more than one sentence. It's possible you could get full credit on it. All right. Um, it's the type of question where you're probably going to want to write about a paragraph, I think, but it is possible, I guess, to get all the points by just writing two sentences. Okay, so here's some things that you should focus on. You need to obviously know what the Serinthian heresy says. Uh, remember, that's what, first, what John is really going after in this, this epistle. Um, so yeah, the more you know about Serinthianism, the better prepared you're going to be. Um, you're going to have to know about uh, how John uses the word to know. Right? What does he mean when he says to know? And how does this compare to what Gnostics say about knowledge, for example? Um, how does John use... Uh, symbols in first John. Alright, won't say any more than that on that one, otherwise that'll give away too much. Um, John talks about <clears throat> the eschatological era a lot in this epistle, so be familiar with what he says about that. Uh, and then, of course, John also talks about things that happen after death. So you should keep track, keep tabs of what John says about what happens after you die. One final note, uh, this is your final <coughs> quiz of the year for religion. This is the last bit of uh, grades you'll get for it, so uh, after you take this quiz on Friday, that's it. Um, so yeah, it's important you do well, especially if you're like on the borderline between two grades. I, I see that right now a lot of your grades are sort of on the border between a B and a C for whatever reason. I've got a lot of you sitting on that B to C border. So if you want a B instead of a C, this is the way to do it. Alright, um, oh, and finally, I will tell you, I think this quiz is probably easier than any quiz you've taken this trimester. So, um, and I did that on purpose because you also have your social studies quiz the same day. So I don't want to overwhelm you with difficult, stressful quiz situations on Friday. So I, I did make this religion quiz a little easier on purpose. So hopefully that bodes well for you. Um, and yeah, as long as you've uh, taken notes on the videos and you guys did the, the questions I posted, you did the study guide, uh, you'll be good to go. So good luck.